All right, so today we're gonna answer a very important question. How many Chuck can a woodchuck, Chuck can a woodchuck wood? Okay, who's playing with the Titron here? Come on, Bobo, I mean, get serious. Come on, man, we got a, we got a show to do. So we're gonna answer a very important question. Can gold tarnish and or tone? And we're gonna answer that today on this episode from Urban Lifestyle, and we're starting now. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community on its way to 10,000 strong. If you guys would like to help support this community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys do decide to join this community, I sincerely want to say thank you in advance. So question of the day, do you guys currently right now possess any sort of gold that actually tone or tarnish throughout the test of time? Comment down below, let me and the community know. All right, so first of all, for anybody who may be new to the silver stacking game or gold stacking, they might be wondering, what the heck is tarnishing? What the heck is toning? If you're into silver stacking, if you have a silver coin and it starts to change color because maybe due to the stuff that's on top of it or just the air around it itself. And now to be honest with you, in the community, a lot of people say that gold don't tone. And that can be true in some cases. And that brings me to my first point. Gold in its purest form, 999 or 0.999 or three nines fine, alongside with the other two metals of platinum and chromium. Chromium, I, I didn't even know that was a word. Chromium. It sounds weird. They just making up stuff now. Like, hey, this metal is vibranium. This metal is archimanium. They just making up words now. So those three metals in its purest form, gold, platinum, and chromium, are the only three metals actually is impervious to corrosion. In its purest form, of course. Now, fun fact, the element of gold is impossible to destroy, being that it was born in a violent star explosion. Mind blowing, right? Now, it's good to know that there are different types of gold. There's 22 karat gold, there's 18 karat gold, there's 14 karat gold. Now, all of these coins, which are found in jewelry or coins, are mixed with different metals such as copper and silver. And they're mixed with these metals because of strength. They want it to be stronger because gold is so soft and so malleable. I said it can be destroyed, but it can be bent. It can be warped and it can easily break. But when you mix it with other alloy metals such as silver and copper, it gives it a bit strength. It makes it a bit harder to warp. It makes it a bit harder to break. And some of these examples can be found in jewelry. If you look at your jewelry and you have gold in it, it'll say either 14 karat gold, which means that it's a bit stronger. It could be 22 karat gold, which means it's stronger, not as strong as 14 karat. And then you also have 18 karat that's somewhere in the middle. But 24 karat jewelry, even though it's weaker than the rest, but it's more popular, meaning that, hey, that's as close to pure that they can get. And matter of fact, if you guys didn't see my last video, you guys should know that it is next to impossible to actually get pure, pure, pure gold. But some examples as far as the coin side that are 22 karat gold, which is the American Golden Eagle and the Krugerrand, which has 22 karat gold. I mean, they still give you an ounce of gold within the coin itself, but it's still 22 karat. And that can cause a debate within the gold community where people's like, hey, you know what? I want 24 karat gold when I buy my gold. I don't want 22 karat gold. And some people are like, hey, you know what? As long as I get an ounce of gold, it really don't matter. But now let's answer the question to how many Chuck Kittle would Chuck, Chuck No, okay, no, no, no. Come on, Bobo, come on. Like, honestly here, please. All right. Now to answer the question here, can gold tarnish, tone, or even have corrosion? Now, based on all the information that I actually have up here, any non-pure gold, meaning, I mean, there's no such thing as 100% pure, but anything gold that's 22 carats, 18 carats, 14 carats, over time will tone, slight luster tarnish, or even cause corrosion because of the fact that they're mixed with other metals that do tone over time or do tarnish over time, like copper and silver. And these are the main metals that they actually put in these 18 karat, 22 karat, or 14 karat gold coins or jewelry. And over time, they should. If you keep them out in the open and the air is just touching them or you have something on top of them, over time, they can tone or tarnish. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Let me know, did you guys know anything that I just mentioned in 
this whole video. Comment down below, let me know. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not subscribed already, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Hit that thumbs up, helps out with the algorithm a lot. And don't forget to have a beautiful day and don't forget to always work and grind. Everything.